We're three weeks into the new school year in Southern Arizona and Pima County school leaders are still trying to protect their students from growing COVID outbreaks in schools. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish tells us why it's more of a challenge now than it was back in the spring. Pima County's chief medical officer, Dr. Francisco Garcia, says several factors are making it tougher now for schools to contain COVID outbreaks. Many more children in the classroom, a very highly transmissible variant and a population of of um, very vulnerable children. That is children who are not vaccine age eligible. Dr. Garcia reports more than 1200 school cases since the new semester started, most in children too young to get the vaccine and 50 confirmed outbreaks at county schools. The Delta variants fueling those cases and Arizona's contentious school mask mandate debate. Pima County is letting school districts make their own choice. They know their children and their families and their community the best, and that's part of the reason why we defer to them. But Dr. Garcia says Amphi, Catalina Foothills, Marana, Sunnyside, and TUSD have all imposed mask mandates and are now seeing an impact. Those are the school districts that right now are having a lower infection rate that numerically may have a lot of cases, but proportionately are having a smaller percentage of cases. So we do believe that mask mandates in schools actually have an impact. Um, and it's a really important and, and critical tool that our school districts and our schools have to be able to keep children uh, and families safe. Despite all of those school cases, Dr. Garcia says there are only six pediatric COVID patients currently in local hospitals. Reporting in Tucson, Ryan Fish, KGUN 9 on your side.